I think Taiwan is in a really unique situation in the fact that when COVID first started, we were, we were able to avoid all of the really difficult hard stuff. And finally, COVID-19 has hit Taiwan nearly a year and a half after it's hit everybody else. So we're able to look at other countries and see what they did wrong and what happened there and how that turned out and possibly try and avoid this. So right now, Taiwan is under level three alert, which isn't a full lockdown, but a lot of people, including myself, are choosing to sort of do their own lockdown. So for the past five days, I think it is, we haven't really been out. I've just stayed at home most of the time. I've gone for a walk every day, but really avoiding people and places and trying to keep my social circle quite small. And I think I'm not the only person doing this. I spoke to a lot of my friends, I've seen online, a lot of people are doing this, you know, Taipei city is just quiet. No one's at the night markets, no one's going shopping, which is absolutely great. When you go outdoors, you have to wear masks. And I still see stories of people getting reported for not wearing masks. So whilst there are a lot of good people in Taiwan doing the right thing, there are also a lot of people maybe don't seem to care so much and we need to be doing the best we can to try and avoid the situation getting worse. So right now we're in a place where if everything goes really, really well, we could be back to normal within a few weeks or a couple of months or so, which is absolutely amazing. But if people just do half effort or maybe not trying the best they can, this could drag on for a long time. This could be the same situation as it is abroad and just going on for months and months and months. It's a situation that nobody wants, myself included. I know right now it's pretty tough. There's a lot of people who have stopped working for a little while again myself included there's no modeling jobs at the moment i can't shoot any tv commercials i can't go to school to teach luckily i have savings and stuff so i'm not too worried maybe there's some people who aren't so lucky who need that money every month just to pay the bills the rent the food and whatnot i know there's a lot of people who are still fortunate enough to go to work but again there's a possibility if this drags on for months and months a lot of people could be out of work too. Now, from what I understand, Taiwan isn't able to do the same as what maybe England and Canada did with giving people money even though they're not working, just to help them you know, pay their bills and pay their rent or whatnot. So in my eyes, I think it's really, really crucial right now that you know we work together, we get this COVID situation under wraps as soon as possible so we can go back to the lives that we we're having before in Taiwan. Even if it doesn't affect you too badly, there are a lot of people whose lives really depend on being able to work. One thing I seem to notice in Taiwan that isn't enforced or followed so strictly is social distancing. Now social distancing means that you stay at least a meter and a half or two meters away from any other person who's not in your household. For example, when I go for a walk, there are still so many people walking past each other so closely. And the spaces where people are walking, there's so much space to walk. Why are people still walking so close? I will literally cross the road so I don't have to walk past somebody I don't know, just to maintain social distancing. Also, when we went to the supermarket, people aren't being so strict with the social distancing when they're lining up. The cashier is still getting super close when you pay the money and they give you the groceries and stuff. I think we can all do a lot better when it comes to that. But yeah, other than that, you know, we're doing really good with the spraying and tracking people and wearing masks. Taiwan is awesome for that. So right now it's in the hands of us the people, the people, the normal people who live in Taiwan, just to make sure that we stay safe, that we remind each other to stay safe. And the better we do right now, the sooner we can overcome all of this and get back to normal. However, if we only just do a little bit here and there and not do the full effort, this could honestly go on for weeks, which I really don't want. I really hope it doesn't turn out that way. So um, yeah, that's all I wanted to say really. All right guys, let me know your thoughts on the situation right now. Do you think it will go on longer for the next week? Or do you think by the end of the month, it will be fine? Hit the like button if you enjoyed the video, subscribe if you haven't already, and I will catch you guys next time. Bye.